Today's Cowboys report is brought to you by True Classic Tees. I'm wearing one right now because much like Deion Sanders, I'm a big believer in look good, feel good, play good, and you should be too. 25% off when you use promo code CHAT, that's C-H-A-T, over at trueclassictees.com slash chat. They've helped 2 million men already, hope look great in their tees, and they can help you as well. We're going to begin with Odell Beckham, right? Uh, Cowboys might, I'll emphasize the might here, uh, be out on Odell Beckham. There's a lot going on here. The players are talking about it. We'll break it all down here. Uh, near as we can gather, the Cowboys didn't like the way the medical went down uh, for Odell Beckham. Jerry, on that front, publicly declined to make a statement about it, saying it was sensitive. But the reports and the leaks and all that stuff are already well out there. Here's what front of the show Jane Slater said earlier today. Told there was no offer to OBJ made, which isn't a huge surprise. Serious concern about his ability to play the season. In the absence, seeing him run routes, seeing him cut, they are forced to evaluate the info they have. Doesn't seem as optimistic as it was pre-visit. I'll also make note that mere moments ago, as we were filming the start of this, Micah Parsons told reporters that Odell Beckham told him he'll be ready in about five weeks, or could be ready in five weeks, which is not really all that great of a timeline since the season's over at that point. More on Beckham and Tyron Smith and more coming up in a moment, but first it is the Battle of Texas week. There are some Texans fans who are like, ah, oh, but we won the preseason. Yeah, imagine being a sitting NFL organization who, A, has the Cowboys logo, logo in their own logo. You see the star right there because they just want to be the Cowboys who have almost 100,000 less subscribers than we do here on YouTube. Let's get to that number so we can body that poverty organization once again. Hit that subscribe button. Free Cowboys videos all season and off season long right here on the Cowboys Report. Report. I, I want to go back and look at this quote from Jerry Jones. This was an older quote that I think is even more relevant than ever about Odell Beckham. If this thing works, it will improve this team now. It will improve it this year. If we don't have that, then we're in a positive situation as well, but it has to improve us now. And that's a pretty tall order, and it has to improve us in a way that makes sense for us as look not only this year, but as it impacts the years to come relative to the financial aspect of it. I'm not really all that interested in adding Odell Beckham if he can't help play this year. I'm focused on trying to win games right now, and yeah, he could help you in 2023 and maybe the playoffs, but if his first game is a playoff game, I, I don't know if I want to toss him out there for a, a middle-of-the-field route and he runs the wrong route because he didn't have chemistry with, with the quarterback yet or he thinks th something else. Happened. That's just that's a lot of danger to interject. I wanted him down the stretch of the regular season to help my receiving core. God forbid somebody gets hurt, but if Beckham's not healthy yet, I, I don't really know what the benefit is. Yeah, you could bring him in for next year and you're obviously offering him a very different contract just for basically what is rights of first refusal for next year, basically. It seems more and more like we'll end up having James Washington being the reinforcements coming for this Cowboys team. He's back at practice. There's an open roster spot for him and Tyron Smith once Anthony Brown officially goes on IR, but it's kind of a weird, a weird situation with Odell Beckham. Jerry Jones also did publicly say that, that they're still working on it today, but I'm a little bit at the point where I'm like, okay, let's just Let's make a decision here. To, to do the whole free agency tour and then to tell players after your agent said, or you, the leak was, he's good to go, you're still five weeks away? Mm, I don't love that. So are you done with this whole old, o Odell Beckham drama ordeal situation? Sound off in the comments. No, BJ, for you're done on him. You just don't want him anymore. OBJ for, hey, you know what? You still want him to see if he can help you playoffs or even next year. Pin comment. Ad break comes on YouTube. Take advantage of it. Head down there. Let me know. I'm kind of getting over it. Uh, the whole I wanted him to help you for your playoff stretch. The available option in free agency to make you better. Help you in your playoff push. Well, if he's not helping me this year, I, I don't really see the benefit. This this quote from, from Demarcus Lawrence, by the way, uh, that, that I do want to get to. Assuming I think we should have that there. Is really intriguing to me. It's, it is what Tank said today. It's fair to say... I'm trying to reach a Super Bowl. So if he can come and help us with that, then yes, I'll accept him. But if we're just gonna do it, if we're just gonna do the circus, no, I don't. I ain't take nailed it. Who else is nailing it this season is true classic tees. The holidays are almost here, and there's plenty of t-shirt cheer thanks to our sponsor, True Classic Tees. It's the perfect gift for your wish list or maybe your significant other, whatever it is. 
for you, for her. It's a great gift for any guy in your life. They're on a mission to maximize men's confidence by making them look good. Whether you got the, the dad bod a little bit, the, the, the awesome bod, or the, the Santa bod and somewhere in between, True Classic Tees actually fit you. They're, they're, they're tapered where they need to be towards the bottom, and they fit a bit tighter around the chest. It's a desirable look that can be achieved by every single body type. The, the wider shoulder, it's the quality of an elite t-shirt without having to pay off the insane amounts for some of the branded t-shirts. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Get yourself or someone you love the number one gift on Santa's list. It's a gift for you, but it's also a gift for her because you'll look a bit better in it. 25% off at trueclassic.com slash chat. Free shipping, by the way, on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassictees.com slash chat. This holiday season, Santa won't be the only one slaying thanks to True Classic. Speaking of uh, slaying, that's what Tyron Smith does on the football field, especially against opposing DBs. Really good news here on Tyron Smith. Officially designated to return from injured reserve today, and he was at practice as well for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, starting this practice window today gives him 21 days, so December 28th, basically, uh, without counting against the active roster. That timeline is a maximum, not a minimum. He could come back tomorrow if they wanted him to, which they're not going to, on the active roster and play. It's probably going to be a bit closer to the 21-day timeline. I I'd be shocked if it was this week, but hey, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Tyron Smith would be a potential massive boost to this Dallas Cowboys roster and the offensive line if you get the version we saw last year. Again, well, he was not as great, by the way, um, in the playoff game, but hopefully that was just not a sign of things to come. The likely plan here is you plug your Hall of Fame left tackle in at left tackle, which is what the Cowboys have publicly, privately said, and their actions have spoken that too, because they've been rotating linemen this year. Tyler Smith has gotten reps at left guard with Jason Peters in there at left tackle. Now, from a, a numbers game perspective, they have one more call-up available of Avion Collins. That's the final call-up the Dallas Cowboys have of him. Then they're out of call-ups for that option, which means you got to bring back Matt Farnick. You'd be around that timeline. You got to promote Dakota Shelby for a game for the practice squad. If Tyron Smith can't play, can't play against the Jags. In my ideal world, Tyron's back week 15. Now that's two weeks of time. You have the full three weeks. You wouldn't be maximizing it there. It'd be a little bit dicey in terms of potentially rushing him back, but. I would rather have Tyron play against the Jags than his first game being back against Philly, but it does sound like you're going to have Tyron Smith down the stretch for your playoff push into late December, early January, and hopefully beyond that. So prediction time. What week, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, will Tyron Smith return? Sound off. Make those predictions for me in the comments section. And now for some not-so-good news. Uh, Kelvin Joseph, again, is battling illness right now. He missed practice today, which is pretty brutal timing. I'll make note that Sam Williams did too, but it's a lot more brutal for Kelvin Joseph because Joseph is about to take over as this team's number two quarterback. Anthony Brown, not formally on injured reserve yet, by the way, but he will be very soon. That's just a, a practical matter there. Jordan Lewis, oh, by the way, for those of you wondering, uh, Anthony Brown did have surgery on, on, I think it was Tuesday. He had that surgery already done, so just keep that in mind. But Joseph is the next man up for the decimated injury group at cornerback. You'll probably see Kendall Sheffield as a practice squad call up this week. Joseph has flashed potential, and he, he suffers from what I call Chidobe Awuzie syndrome, where he's in position and he can't find the football sometimes. Only 10 targets this year. Two touchdowns, two flags. You don't love that numbers there. I thought he was actually a bit better last year in a very different situation in, in positioning and all that good stuff there. The illness sucks because you want him out there getting the reps because he needs those reps even though you're playing a garbage Texans offense. Still, every rep matters, especially when you're going to be a new starter. Here's what Mike McCarthy said today uh, before the Kelvin Joseph injury news broke. Kelvin's extremely talented. He's done some really good things on special teams. This is a huge opportunity for him, and we're counting on him to step up. There's still a lot of talent with Kelvin Joseph, but... There's always just that, ah, it's something, right? It's something with the illness, they off the field. It's just kind of brutal timing there for Kelvin Joseph. But there is talent. He's been in good position. So what is your confidence level in Kelvin Joseph? Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1, of course, on the low end, 10 on the high end. 
One more note before we go here. Jalen Darden, if you want some more receiver help, this is an intriguing option. Put him on waivers on Tuesday. So depending on when you're watching this, you will you might know or not whether or not he was claimed. It was a bit of a surprise move. and makes me wonder if there's something else going on behind the scenes because he was the leading punt returner in the NFL, which... I wasn't quite sure that was going to be in the case. There was a surprise move. He's a local kid. He brings you some speed. Would the Cowboys have interest? If they did not have Cavante Turpin, I would be all over this because there's great return value, but as a pure receiver, even though I liked him a lot coming out of North Texas, huh, there's not a whole lot going on there. Eight catches. It's, it's a nice yardage amount. But that's not really impacting you, and you kind of rather see what James Washington can do. Now, if you go on the practice squad, let's ride. I still have some interest because he brings you the speed, but, you know, his role would mainly be on returns. And there's just – sorry, he's actually, I think, the, 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 the leading kick returner, not part returner this year. Either way, he's been a good return man in the NFL. Uh, but that role is filled by Kevontae Turpin. Like, I don't need another version of Turpin. I need another better receiver. So, I still have some interest, but I'm not going to get bent out of shape in the event they do not claim him.